every serious YouTube video has to start with a dramatic sigh. Guys, I think it's time. I think it's time I hang up the controller. January CPMs have hit. I'm getting paid pennies, man. It's rough. No games coming out till February. Nothing to play. I think I'm going to become a delivery driver. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's time for a career change, baby. We are going to be checking out the Ford Supervan 3 in this game. And uh, apparently, this is one of the best S1 class cars in the game. Even just stock. Even without a tune. Apparently, it's super grippy. So we're going to try some different different options on it. We've got a stealth out. We've got a free candy van. We've got a medical van. But uh, like I said, I want to work in the uh, the delivery field here. So we've got Amazon Prime. We've got UPS. Or we've got DHL. Dude, all three of these are pretty sick. I honestly, like, obviously Prime is, you know, kind of the biggest, most popular, you know, Twitch and everything else. But I feel like these two look a little bit better. I honestly think I might go with DHL. We're getting some some international shipping here, baby. We aren't keeping it local. We're going far across the borders, reaching across the seas. As far as the eye can see, I'll get your package there. But yeah, welcome back, guys, to Forza Horizon 5. Dude, it's, it's been like a week. It, it's been a little bit over a week. I, I don't know, man. I, I hit a, a little bit of a funk last week. I, um, kind of a holiday hangover type situation. Not like an actual hangover, but just like exhausted from traveling and seeing family and friends and stuff like that and just kind of needed a couple of days to, to chill for a minute we've also had all the the housework going on in the house if you guys don't follow me on twitter feel free to check it out i've been posting updates all the time today literally got a scissor lift stuck for like three hours like it, it's just it, it's never ending i'm in this makeshift temporary office i just i feel so displaced so that's why the videos have been a little bit sporadic haven't been, you know, grinding out one to two per day like we normally do, but I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things. We'll see how January goes. January is going to be a little bit slow, but um, February is going to absolutely kick everyone right between the legs. February looks like an epic, epic month. So, um, yeah, we're going to check this thing out. It's stock right now. I'm, I'm thinking we're probably going to want to end up souping it up quite a bit, but let's see. I'm going to say we haven't done this one yet. The Vulcan Sprint. This one's supposed to be really good at stuff that has like tight corners and stuff just because it's it's so grippy. So we'll see how it goes. Got the cross tape on there. So in case you crash into something and it breaks, isn't it? It like holds the holds the glass together so it doesn't shatter everywhere. It's a big thing about that when hurricanes come around in Florida. People like start taping their windows and uh, apparently it doesn't really work that well. News is always like when there's a hurricane coming, the news is like, no, don't tape your windows. You're going to get the residue all over it. It's hard to clean. It's, it's not worth it. It's not actually going to help you out all that much. Excuse me. I got a, a, a delivery here. Y'all are going to have to get out of my way. I know the, uh, the holiday season is over, but we still got to meet our deadlines, baby. Got to make sure these people get their orders as quickly as possible. I honestly can't even remember the last time I had a... Uh, a DHL package. It's, it's not something you see often. It's typically, you know, something from overseas. They, I, don't, I feel like they're serious, man. I don't know. You always get like a call beforehand. If you happen to miss them, I feel like I like committed a crime or something because they just, they keep calling you and leaving you voicemails and stuff. But they're cool. It's a, it's a tough job. Somebody's got to get it done. Get these packages all over the world up into, uh, into P3. I'm not even sure what difficulty we're on. This is my first time playing the game in a, a week or so, but feeling pretty confident so far. 31% of the way through, and we are just cruising. You wouldn't think a giant yellow box. It looks like we're racing a shoe box. Maybe that's what we're delivering here. We got, we got some Italian shoes or something. Some fancy... I don't even know. Some, some Louis, Louis Vuittons. Louis, Louis Vuittons? Those are the same thing? We got some Gucci shoes in here. Some hundred of these Gucci collaborations. Got to get them to the people. But, um, yeah, you wouldn't think something so big, beefy, and boxy would be so agile. It's like a ballerina. And the P2 here. <laughs> About to bypass the BMW M3. Got him. Can't even see... Whatever the heck is in front of us, we're gonna miss this, uh, miss this apex a little bit. I'm even, honestly not even sure what that is. 
You guys want to know what I found today that's that's dangerous? I, uh, Revology, I think it's called. It, it's actually so one of the one of the guys working on the the house was talking to me about it because he's seen like the GTR in the garage and stuff when they're going around it and messing with the breakers and whatever else. So he's into cars. We chat cars a little bit. They make they take like old school Mustangs, like you know sixty five, six, seven, that kind of era, the the very first Mustangs. They take the, the bodies, like it, it's the original body, the original metal, the original everything, and then they completely, like, uh, modify it with modern parts, modern brakes, modern transmissions, modern electronics, radios, all kinds of stuff like that, but it still looks exactly like the Mustang did originally. So it's like a complete new but old thing, and they're, I guess they're local here in Florida, we just took second place so that's not really the best one but yeah and I, I was getting excited about it because i've always wanted like a 65 67 mustang something like that they're, they're like 250 grand dude you could buy a lambo you could buy anything you wanted pretty much for the price of one of these mustangs i don't know man it'd still be pretty cool i don't think i could ever spend that much money on something like that but it's a cool idea i like it took a p2 to start things off oh gonna get a wheel spin here come on baby we're back in it. We want to make some money. Welcome back to Forza, baby. 100K. So I'm actually going to go for a uh, for a, a tuning setup here. I'm going to just find one. We'll see. Oh, wow. An X999. Look at the launch, the braking, the speed. I, I mean, I'm looking for something that can... Can I sort them by, like, popularity or something? Like, this one's a two-star here. X999. Let's, let's go for it. Let's... Download, install, uh, do it all. Hundred and twenty thousand credits is <laughs> it's gonna take us up to fourteen hundred and sixty horsepower. It's gonna drop us two thousand. Hundred and twenty thousand credits is gonna take us up to fourteen hundred and sixty horsepower. Almost fifteen hundred horsepower. All right, you know what? This is a Jeffrey Bezos move here. There's only one person on this earth that would do something this ridiculous. So we're, we're gonna have to change up our uh, our design. We're gonna have to go over to Amazon Prime. This is literally Prime same day shipping. It, by the way, it's changed my life. I love it. We're, Orlando has like a couple of Prime, like factory distribution center type things. Dude, I, I can order something at 3 p.m. and it's on my door at 5 p.m. And it's like, it's life changing absolutely life-changing anything you want anytime i literally i couldn't go out to the store and buy it that fast but it gets to me and these must be what they're using oh my god dude what <laughs> this is the most stupid thing i've ever seen look at the speed Bro, this is outrageous. I, 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 it's, it's, uh, you can't even handle it. You can't even handle it. Too much, too much speed. Your package is here. Just imagine somebody pulls up to a street race in an Amazon delivery van, baby. This is the sleeper of all sleepers about to just blow the doors off of these fools. Eclipses and sinners alike, doesn't matter what you are, or how much you cost your boy is about to eat. Ooh, oh, whoever's in first there is, is kind of taking off. We're good. So this thing definitely has more grip than you would expect. We're gonna be very careful here, Trev. We gotta make sure we're, we're taking advantage of that. If we, if we hit the brakes too hard, we're gonna get ourselves in trouble. We're not gonna be able to catch them. Oh my goodness. You gotta keep in mind, I mean, this this is an, an X-Class race, so it's... It's serious business. Oh! Did we get it? We got it! Oh! No way, bro. Oh my goodness, that, that car was right on the apex right there. We're gonna be in trouble. We're probably gonna be passed here. Oh, that, that got us so far off the line. Okay, we're, we're gonna pretend like this one didn't happen yet. We're, we're good, we're good, we're good. But there were a couple of cars right in the racing line and they, they just annihilated us. Come on. 
This is where it's going to get really tough. To oh my goodness, dude. Our acceleration is just so good. Slam him out. Here we go. This is a harrowing experience. Like my, my, I, my hands are so sweaty right now. Talk about mom's spaghetti. Looks like we got a pretty much straight windy, windy route to the finish. Straight and windy oxymoron here, Trev. Come on, baby. Don't go too fast. Oh my God, Trev! What? You, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I, so old Jeff, uh, he fired me. I took a bathroom break and I uh, just wasn't meeting the quota, so uh, I, I've changed. Changed loyalties here. We're now with a new company. What can Brown do for you? This this should be interesting. We're racing a NASCAR right now. And bugs and everything else in between. So this this is the Horizon Circuit event. This is the uh, the actual like racetrack race. Wanted to see how this thing fared against these. It this van, I this is probably the the best car I've used. I I would put it on par with the Sesto. Now I don't I don't think I'm necessarily giving it a, a good a good look here because I'm just first of all it's 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 hard to use. It's it's good, but you're traveling so fast you need to be so precise it makes it difficult. The sheer acceleration that this has is nothing short of incredible. I was hoping we were gonna be able to to you know bang out that entire corner without breaking there. Obviously, that was a pipe dream, but um, the fact that we're all over the track and I've hit the wall like six times and we're still up into the top four and climbing is is leg like legitimately crazy. I feel like the, the I mean, obviously, the, the braking is the toughest part, and I feel like that's where we're dropping the ball the most. If we were smoother on the brakes, we had a little bit less in terms of, you know, sliding and locking up and stuff like that. I mean, this thing would be, it would be unstoppable. Okay. It's gonna ride the outside like a bowling ball? Could work. All right, we need a clean lap here, Trev. Clean lap to be able to take first. This X-Class is just, it, it's, it's no joke, dude. It's, it's so fast. Fairly smooth through there. Got, I mean, a little bit wide, but got on the gas early. That's kind of all you can ask for in some situations. There it is. All right, now just hold the line. Hold or or don't. Just leave the door wide open. That's okay too. Here we go. I can't believe we just got that right there. I'm gonna push you out of the way. Sorry, Mr. Bachmato. This is this is my this is my road. This is my line. I mean, it wasn't pretty, but we got close to the apex there. We've got one more corner. Just break. Be smart about it. Accelerate out of it. Beautiful. That's how you get a win. What can Brown do for you? I can win your races. Maybe get you a wheel spin. Get you some XP and. All kinds of stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see. I, I definitely, I want to get back into some builds here. Uh, I really enjoyed the custom tracks. I'm going to be honest. I thought they'd pop off a little bit more. I don't know if people are, are the ones from last week, the episodes from last week. I don't know if people are just kind of tired of Forza. Um, I don't know. We've also got Jurassic World happening. There's some other little Steam games I want to try out. It's. Uh, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's going to be a weird month. Like, it, it's... It's an off month for gamers, but February is going to make up for it. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys for being here. Catch you all later. Peace out.